Oh hi, it's been a long time, eh? So as you might have read in the video title, I'm gonna be talking about um how I improve my art skills over the lockdown period. Also, in this video, I'm gonna be avoiding the subject of uh, why I started this channel and how, as well as its future. So I created this channel on the 14th of June, 2017. It was originally made for gaming. Cause I'm a gamer. So I did as all kids do at 13 years old, that is make cringy gaming videos. And of course I did not get any views or feedback. So naturally after a year or so, I abandoned. Yet two years from then, here I am making art videos. So why and how did I start doing that? After watching PewDiePie's Minecraft series, Summer of 2019 and his subreddit reviews, I saw this amazing artist called Natrix. At the time, she was making Minecraft fan experiments. So after Pew's review of her art, she blew up. So I discovered her YouTube channel. Being a big art guy and stuff, I wanted to try and do the same thing. So I bought my own tablet. Way comment to his pro, by the way. Really good. Recommend it totally. And started sketching. At the time, I had practically no time to draw. On top of that, I had no clue of how anything worked. So when you combine the two together, you get this thing posted two weeks after I started with shit posing and lighting. So how did I get from this to this? Pretty simple. Lockdown. And oh my god, this was so welcome. Except for the fact that people were dying, that everyone had to stay home, that you couldn't see your friends, that economy was falling, and that we were going to be the ones to put it back to his place. But as a beginner artist, it was really good because I had the time I needed to learn and practice. So I started watching every single video New Tricks made, and just by doing this, it feels like I stepped up my game tremendously. There's so much to learn from them, all the way from making good poses to making my own custom brushes. And I feel like by going through this process of watching all of her vids has really impacted my style of drawing. The good part. So I'll put a link to her channel in the video description, although you might already know who she is since I speak of her in almost every video I make. So yeah, definitely go check her out. The first thing that really helped me uh, improve my skills was sketching. I know this is kind of like a normal thing to do for every artist, but doing a lot of it can help you with the mapping of the different elements in your drawing and give you a first glance at what it's going to look like. Next big step for me was lighting and effects. Although, now that I look back, I should have learned to make better poses first as they are the most important part of the drawing. You can see in these uh, drawings, I started putting color accents on the parts of the body that are next to the light and blacking out parts that aren't. And this really gives a depth of field when you're drawing. Now, uh, effects and filters. Why are they so great? Blur. That's right, blur. It was probably the biggest game changer for me. Something is not well drawn, blur it out. You want to make fog and you have like a shitty background or whatever, blur it out. It's that simple. Another big one was lighting effects in the filter tab under render. It allows you to make a light diffusion on objects and stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so next one is really obvious and it should have been the first thing to change. That is them thick lines. Look how thick them lines are, dude. So to fix that problem, I reduced the canvas resolution from 600 to 400 pixels. Mainly needed this because my computer was lagging like crazy. And my main line size is now 25 pixels wide for those who are interested. There are many more small details I can talk about, for example, the small folds in the clothing, which I only started using correctly towards my most recent artworks, as well as color correction or brushes. But the last and most important thing that helped me a lot in making good looking art are, as I said earlier, poses. For this, I just watched a ton of videos on the human anatomy or just checked out some manga poses to give me ideas. And every time I start a new project, I draw at least six sketches of poses and choose the best one out of them, which I'm going to use in the drawing, of course. So second to last, I just want to talk about my art routine during set period. I draw at least three hours a day. At the beginning of lockdown, I drew also at night till 1am or more. By the way, I do not recommend this. Each time I finish a drawing, I take a day to edit the vid and post it in the next morning. After having posted it, I used to try and find another idea as fast as I could, but I found that taking more time resulted in better artworks. So now I take at least a day break and it really helps to get them ideas straight. Finally, I want to speak a little of the future of this channel. I have uh, decided that I should have a defined upload rate and that is going to be a video every week, except if it's a longer project. But with school coming back soon, I'm scared I'm not going to be uh, able to manage to keep a straight pace. If you like my content, you can sub and leave a like on this vid. Also at a thousand subs, I'm going to be redrawing my first ever artwork. So stay tuned for this and uh, have a great day.